ഹലോ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് വെൽക്കം ടു സി ഷോപ്പ് ഇൻ്റർമീഡിയറ്റ് ടു അഡ്വാൻസ്ഡ് ട്യൂട്ടോറിയൽ നൗ വി ആർ സ്റ്റാർട്ടിങ് എ ന്യൂ സബ് സീരിയസ് സി ഷാപ്പ് വെബ് ബ്രൗസർ കൺട്രോൾ ഇൻ ദിസ് വീഡിയോ വി വിൽ ലേൺ അബൌട്ട് ദി വെബ് ബ്രൗസർ കൺട്രോൾ ബേസിക്സ് ആഫ്റ്റർ ദാറ്റ് വി വിൽ ലേൺ അബൌട്ട് ദി എക്സാമ്പിൾ സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് ദ എക്സാമ്പിൾ യു ആർ സീയിങ് ഹിയർ ദെൻ ആഫ്റ്റർ ലേണിംഗ് അബൌട്ട് ദി എക്സാമ്പിൾ ആൻഡ് ദി ഫോം ഡിസൈൻ we will see how to navigate to a url then we will learn some of the web browser events and then we will see how to load html document created by the user and hook the html button event with the c sharp handler there are two kind of techniques we will learn both the technique the first one use a document object model and the second technique use object for scripting property web browser control allows to browse web pages within dotnet windows forms that means it will place this control inside the windows form then the control can uh, navigate to the page url retrieves the content from the page url in the form of a html then uh, renders that uh, since it's a control it can be placed inside the dotnet windows forms so that's why we are saying control allows to browse web pages within dotnet windows forms with this with this means with this web browser control one can display html content or we can say browser enabled content so whatever you can display in the browser that you can display using this web browser control html ui element events can be tied to c sharp code so here if say for example you are displaying a report and that report contains some button and when those buttons are clicked that means html buttons are clicked you want to perform some action in the c sharp code so those capabilities are available with the web browser control since web browser control is placed on the c sharp windows form and this browser control is displaying the html and the html is having the buttons when button click happens by the user the click event can be handled in the c sharp application domain that means a rich functionality is available in the form of c sharp domain when a html button is clicked using this control one can display fancy html reports and display it so um using html you can so using html you can form the report and display it that means various formatting options are available because html have a lot of tags to present information in a nice way so that means you can display the html in the web browser control and the control can display this is static content which is formed on the fly by reading some data and presenting it in a nice way in this sub series we will learn about csh web browser control its events properties and the techniques of displaying the html content in the browser either through the uh, web page navigation or uh, creating the html document and giving it to the web browser control to render it so here in this example we will create a, uh, a simple web browser using this you can browse to any web page the warning here is since we are doing this web browser for uh, uh, learning the control do not use this to fill any form field data so this is not a secured 
uh, browser like uh, Chrome, Edge, all those stuff. So it's a browser embedded inside uh, the uh, C Sharp form, and this web browser control is from Microsoft. Definitely, it will uh, mimic or emulate the Internet Explorer, but still. Uh, we cannot, uh, uh, it's just a control subset of the IE. So you cannot expect all the security feature available with this control and it is a good practice uh, when you are using this uh, sample exe, uh, not filling any data. So you can browse to your page, you can navigate to page as a read only stuff that to your trusted site, not all the site. You can go to your trusted site, you can navigate it, but don't fill any uh, form field data. That is your personal information or uh, card information, all those stuff. So trusted site pins here, for this example, you can use Amazon and Dell.com for experimenting purpose. And you can browse that in a read-only manner. With this uh, sample application, we are going to create in next uh, two, three or in the next four or five videos. So that's the quick intro here and we will learn about the properties, events, all the stuff while we proceeding through the sub series videos. So no demo here. Thank you for watching. Bye.